All right, gals, we are ecstatic about the new collection, Black Friday, and its sophisticated editorial shopping vibes that the images exude. These images are meant to take your sale graphics to the next level, and we thought what better way to get you inspired than to do a quick video tutorial to show you how easy it is to create stunning animated graphics. We love the idea of creating animated graphics, especially for use on Instagram stories, because they're all the rage right now and for good reason. They're interesting and eye-catching and just stand out a little bit more than static images. And during the busy sales season, you want to do everything you can to stand out more. So today we'll be showing you how to easily add animations using Hotstock Images and Canva. Just a note, you will need the Canva paid plan in order to make the animations. Once you're in Canva, you can go ahead and pick your canvas size. I'm going to be creating Insta Story graphics for my sales campaign because I can reach a ton of followers here and run promoted ads as well. Next, I've already uploaded the three images I'm going to be using from the Black Friday collection, so I'll go ahead and drag and drop my background image. I'm adding simple text announcing a Black Friday sale. Nothing too text heavy because the animations will add an extra element of interest. Once my text is sized and spaced where I want it, I'll add a line to really bring your eye to the text. And that's all I have to do for the design. The rest of the fun happens when you export your static image. Canva makes it so easy to bring your image to life. All you have to do is just click download, change the file format to mp4 gif animation, and then if you scroll down, you can see a preview of all the available animations for your design. So depending on your design, you can pick whichever looks best. I'm going to go with Pan for this design, and then I'm able to download it as an MP4 file, which is what Instagram requires. But if you're uploading it to your website, then you can also pick the GIF format. And that's it. I already have one sale graphic that looks high quality with the hot stock image and the animation makes it interesting and takes it to another level. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and show you two more graphics because why not? This collection just has so many great images. You'll need to create a new Canva document, otherwise Canva will animate all of your designs into one video. So I'll go to File, Create a New Design, and then find the Instagram Story Dimensions again. This time, I'm going to be using this fun balloon pick in order to set the celebration vibe of my sale. This one is going to include a few more details. I'll have the text announcing my sale to my customers, using different styles but complementary text to emphasize different phrases. And then once I'm happy with the layout, I'm going to add a call to action because especially for sale graphics, it's important to tell your customers where they need to go next. I'm adding a black text box that matches the balloons in the image and my text directing viewers to check the link in my bio for more details.
and I'm all done with the second graphic so I'll go back to the download option and back to mp4 animation and then I can see what Canva can do to animate this graphic. So I'm going to go ahead and choose rise because I like how it looks like the text is floating to the top along with the balloons in the image. And because animating this way is so much simpler than having to go frame by frame in Photoshop, I have time to make one more. Once again, create a new document and drag and drop your background image into the canvas. I'm adding a little slogan for my sale that will be relevant to Cyber Monday, but also to the image I'm using to tell my story. Then next I'll go ahead and add the topic, which is the Cyber Monday sale. And then lastly, details about when the sale will be and for how long. This graphic is something I would use before the sale to market it to my customers, so it doesn't need to include a call to action yet because it's just getting the word out and getting my customers excited for the sale that is coming. Then I'm going to add some lines again just to frame it all and tie it all together. Then I can go back to download and repeat all the previous steps till I can see the animation options. And for this graphic, my favorite is fade, so I'll go ahead and choose that option and download. Now I've completed three amazing sale graphics that are not only well put together, but have that extra element of animation that I think really takes your graphics to the next level. And when you're dealing with promoting a sale, you really want to think about ways that you can stand out. We hope this tutorial has shown you how simple it is to create animated GIFs or videos and has gotten you as excited to create sale graphics as it did for us.